Hey there, so in this video I'm just going to go over uh, the AC power bar for Robotank. Um, this is the 120 volt version. As you can see it has 8 outlets. Uh, there is a 220 volt version available, uh, well will be shortly, and it uh, uses universal outlets. However, um, it's only going to be 7 as there isn't room for 8. Um, you can see here we've got uh, indicator lights. Um, there's 8 for each outlet and 1 for power. Um, on the left side you can see our main uh, power cable going in to get the power bar powered up and on the side we've got two ports this is our USB um, to connect it to the controller doesn't matter which one you use and the other one can be used to plug in another power bar or a P8 circuit or some other add-on so you don't have to plug it into the controller uh, the power bar has a little microcontroller inside um, so this uses uh, this is used to monitor uh, each of the outlets uh, power consumption so you can see how many watts it's uh, drawing and uh, if you have any equipment failures and see how much your tanks costing things like that um, and also there's a little mode uh, programmed in here I kind of calling it the emergency mode uh, for example if you had the power bar uh, plugged into a UPS uh, un uninterrupted power supply um, and your power went out, uh, the power bar would go into an emergency mode and uh, based on what you set it to. So let's go into the settings here and I'll show you what we have. So here's our eight outlets. Um, there's two things. We can just access our energy uh, consumption here or we can come into our manual screen and at the bottom you can see there's a summary for the full power bar. Um, how many watts it's drawing, the amps, the voltage, the power factor, the max watts, how many uh, watt hours was today for the month and for the year and the cost and there's a rate that you can change and then underneath each outlet it shows how many watts it's currently drawing. Um, down in the corner there's a view energy total and that gets you to the same place as this icon here and here's all our eight outlets so right now we're in our power uh, mode and so it shows the watts, the amps, the power factor, and the min max um, for each outlet. So you can see this one's drawing 3.3 watts, this one's drawing 3.5 watts, and the rest are zero because nothing's plugged into them. Um, over here we've got consumption, and we can see each outlet and the consumption. The date is up here, so what this refers to is on the box above the year is for the full year, the date is for the full day and the month showing above is for that full month so we can see the cost for each outlet we've got totals here is all our totals um, for the power bar overall we can see our max watts uh, the watts now the amps now the power factor the voltage watt hours today watt hours this month watt hours this year with the cost and estimate watt hours today estimate watt hours this week and this month so the uh, power bar is always uh, updating the estimates, um, or the controller rather is updating those. Here we've got the estimates for each individual outlet. So we can see this one um, is going to take 64 watt hours, 448 for a week, and 1924 a month, which will cost us 13 cents. So this is based on the previous 24 hours. So if you uh, change your schedules, um, you can come in here and then do a comparison and see how much you've saved. Um, next we have our alerts. Um, here is uh, where you can set up. There's a train. Um, you can hit train. Now it's going to go currently training and now it will read that outlet for the next 24 hours and after 24 hours it will go through the data and uh, it'll automatically select a minimum and maximum watt for that. Oh, and I should say, to turn the uh, actual outlet or the actual alert on, there's three different types. You can see they go green. This is a notification on the home page. This is a beep. It'll beep every five seconds. And the last one is an email. It will send you an email when uh, something goes bad um, so if the outlet comes on and it isn't drawing the necessary uh, power it will send you an email and then when it goes back to what it should it will send you another email 
So if your heater doesn't, or your heater turns on but it's not drawing any power, that means the heater's likely shot and you will be notified. Graphs and alerts, um, we've got a few here. We've got our amps, so we can come in into here. We can look at each outlet individually, or we can come into here and do all. So this is the full power bar, and we can go through the different days. This is my sample uh, controller on my test controller, so there's a lot of miscellaneous data. Uh, you can do that in watt hours or just watts. So this is what it was drawing at the time. So you can see at that time it was drawing 37 watts, and then at these times it was drawing only 11 watts. Um, we have our watt hours, so you can see a progression through the day. So you can see how it's uh, consuming during the day, and at the end of the day, obviously that's our max consumption. So you can see peaks. You can see how that day went. Obviously something turned on that was drawing a lot more power at around 6 p.m. And we've got our logs. We've got a daily consumption log. Again, each outlet individually or overall. And here is our totals. So you can see the day, the kilowatt hours, watt hours, and the cost for that day. And then if we come back to here, we can look at the months. And now we can see for June, that's what it cost. For May, that's what it cost. And it will go on. Um, so this is just a start. Uh, there will be a lot more to come. Um, and yeah, I hope you like it. Oh, huh, not quite done yet. Almost forgot something quite important here. So here we can see hold or hold to change rates. And now it takes us to our settings. I'll just exit and I will go the other way. Go into our settings, go to our hardware, and here we've got energy power bar, and there's our settings. So here we've got delay before mode activates, and our adjust our price, and we've got a mode. And you can read what it says there. Um, so we can turn an outlet on or off. Now, when the power bar loses connection to the controller, um, this outlet will turn on, this one will stay as it is, this will stay as it is, etc. This will turn off, this will turn stay as it is, and this will turn on. So maybe we want all these outlets to turn on when the power goes out. So now I'm just going to disconnect this. We'll wait 10 seconds. Drop my cable there. <laughs> and there, they all went on. We'll plug your power bar back in. And now you can see it went back to the regular mode. Maybe we want these two to go off. We'll just do that once more. 10 seconds can feel like a long time when you're waiting for it, eh? <laughs> Should be there right away. And there we go. So you can see those two outlets are off and the rest are on. And I will just show an example here for our power. There we go. So I've got a little uh, cooker on the side here. And we can see it's drawing 24 watts. I will turn it on. And now it's drawing 429 watts. Hopefully you can see that. Turn it off and it'll go back to its 25 watts. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me and uh, have a great night.